everybody, my name is Liam Malkov and you are on Astrobirth. Astrobirth is the place where I charge my Astro batteries and share that energy with you. And today is the day when this very refractor telescope, <laughs> I did it, uh, the unpacking of it yesterday, and today <laughs> it is going to see its first light. I have attached QHY 268M camera, Astro camera, to the focuser of this telescope. I will use this electronic focuser by ZWO for the first time. And it has uh, the filter wheel uh, with uh, uh, narrow band filters and LRGB filters. But uh, the most interesting thing that I'll use the Optolong H alpha filter with the band width of 3 nanometers. 3 nanometers. And I test the mobility of my setup and this uh, case contains uh, the uh, adapter, uh, 12 volts AC-DC adapter, and uh, it allows 12 amperes. And let's imagine it is a automobile battery, and uh, it uh, powers uh, the mount, it powers uh, this uh, mini PC that works through this adapter. I've purchased it on AliExpress and uh, it uh, gives uh, 19 uh, volts power uh, to this mini PC and it really works, it really works, no props. Uh, the Astro camera is powered uh, through this adapter and uh, I decided not to hang everything on one uh, source because I'm not sure. Today is the day of uh, an experiment uh, when uh, this uh, uh, mount will be working unguided. So, the mount itself uh, is an Aptron GAM45EC. EC means that, it means that it has encoders on its array axis. That is why uh, the seller promised me that it is uh, capable to uh, run unguided. Just you take your refractor telescope, you take this mount, throw it into your car and go somewhere to the fields and just collect those photons from distant galaxies, from distant <laughs> nebulas and uh, we'll check. So today we have three challenges. First challenge, an unguided uh, <laughs> astrophoto using this mount with encoders. Uh, test uh, of an electronic focuser the first uh, and the first light of this uh, tube and we'll also check how Optolon uh, narrowband uh, filter uh, 3 nanometers uh, bandwidth will collect those photons from distant what? So let's speak about the target. Uh, first of all I have to say that uh, we have white nights <laughs> now the night is not really dark and uh, I'm not sure <laughs> what I'll get from the target because the night will not be, uh, the sky will not be black. And, uh, but uh, the summer is the time of the Milky Way uh, astrophotography and uh, certainly I decided to find the target there. Uh, the target uh, is not small and uh, it is located in our galaxy because uh, we'll point uh, to the Milky Way and especially to the constellation of Sinus. Uh, Sinus is a swan constellation. It just flies over the Milky Way, such a romantic uh, thing. Uh, the most well-known star is uh, the Nap. It is uh, the tail of the swan. Uh, the chest of the swan is a setter and uh, by the way it uh, has the same etymology as the same origin as uh, uh, the star Shadar. I'm, I think that I pronounced it correctly in English but uh, still not sure. Uh, 
the distance uh, to this uh, object is about uh, uh, 2000 light years and its uh, size is about uh, 50 light years. So the southern region will be shot by me today. Please subscribe to my channel, please give me likes or dislikes if you do not like. If you don't like my English, you may give me dislikes. But I hope that my English is well and you understand everything well. And so I just wait for your likes and uh, please write comments below the video. Uh, so I'm here in my Astro tent. It is cold outside and uh, I decided to uh, continue my small conversation with you while my Astro astrograph is uh, doing uh, the sequence of images of the uh, IC 1318 nebula. Uh, it is a southern region and uh, it is about 2000 light years from Earth, but the Sada, uh, the star Sada is closer than the nebula itself. And uh, you may see it in the picture that uh, it throws light uh, to the, that nebulosity. And here is a three minute of image, the exposure of three minutes in H alpha. If you see it, then it is okay. If not, I'm sorry. And uh, you'll see the final image quite soon. Uh, so, my dear friends, uh, right uh, in front of you are clouds. <laughs> and uh, the constellation of uh, Cygnus uh, is uh, above them. So, uh, the center star Gamma of uh, Cygnus is uh, the star Sadr. And uh, I'm just uh, making uh, astrophotography of Sadr region. And you know, it is really beautiful. I hope that uh, certain data will be collected, maybe half an hour, maybe one hour, in hydrogen alpha, and uh, you'll see the result quite soon. So uh, now it is the morning after my astrophoto session. You see the clouds and the sky and uh, I feel satisfied because uh, uh, yesterday photo session was a success uh, as you uh, could see and uh, that is why I ask you to support my channel and uh, to subscribe if you are new to this. Uh, channel and uh, you may understand that uh, I am an amateur astrophotographer and I overcome uh, difficulties and uh, that uh, activity gives me joy and happiness and just it uh, enriches me with the energy that I share with you. So uh, see you next time on AstroBath and uh, keep your Astro batteries charged. Bye bye.